Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. There are a few new things that I want to check out, a new way to eliminate Osana, and a hypothetical town that could be added to Yandere Simulator. If you guys cool that you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. So this is one of the new cutscenes right here. We have a cork board with many pictures of Osana and all of mom's kitchen knives, apparently. There's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knives. Mom is looking for those, but here we go. So what this is, is it says you can use this screen to plan the way you eliminate your rival. So this screen right here is basically a hand-holding type of situation. If you've never played the game before, you can freestyle. It says no plan, just jump right in. You'll figure something out, probably, and there's no difficulty with it. This one is attack. You could eliminate Osana by attacking her with a lethal weapon. However, Osana's friend, Raiburu, will whoop the shit out of you, is what Yandere Dev wanted to say, but he just said we'll try to stop you. Infochan can sell you advice for eliminating Raiburu. You can contact Contact Infochan using the pause menu while at school. And the difficulty is a shitload of hearts right there, which is true because Raiburu is a freaking Terminator and it's not easy to eliminate her. We could befriend Osana, we can burn Osana, we can bully Osana, betray, crush, drown, or electrocute. That's just a cool little screen that we can get into right now, especially if you're a newcomer to this game. But one thing that we didn't see on the cork board is there's a new way that we can try to eliminate Osana, and I'm gonna show you all right now. So while we're waiting for Osana to get to the spot that we need her to go to, one other thing that's been updated to the game is that we can actually throw things now. Not just toss things like we're in preschool. Like We can actually throw things like we're a major league baseball player, and I'm gonna show you all what I mean right now. So I'm gonna pick up these bang snaps and hold right mouse button to aim so here we go we have a subtle throw i think this is the throw that we're all used to right right there you know just tossing it like we're feeding ducks in a pond or we can do the cool way how do i do the cool way hold on this is the lame way this is the lame way this is not the j way hold on how do i actually throw it like a cool person i'm just tossing these freaking pebbles dude okay i know how to do it now so instead of tossing it like this we go over baby and we can just go oh bitch like that you like that? How you like that shit, huh? You like that? You like that? You like that? You like that? You still walking around like that? I'm literally just standing here. Oh, there's Great Value Bijou Mike. Hold on. Take that, take that, take that, take that. What else what can we do? throw? Can we throw these stinky what? shits right here? Please tell me we can throw the stink bombs because that would be OP. Let me see. Can we throw it? We can throw stink bombs. Hold on. Let me throw this freaking gas for that ass. Oh, yeah. Run away from them stinky shits, bitch. All right. So we can throw the bank snaps, we can throw this, and boom, pink eye. Bro, I wish we still had matches. That would be such a cool way to light somebody on fire. Like, we just pour gasoline on the floor right here, and then we just throw a match and just go boom, and just light somebody's ass on fire. That would be one of the coolest ways to eliminate somebody in this game, hands down. Wait, we can only toss the car battery? I want to throw the car battery at somebody's head. Like, come on now. Imagine we can throw a knife, everybody. Like, just throw a knife at the back of this dude's head. No, that's that's really messed up. That's actually very messed up. Just disregard what I just said. Okay, so I just need Osana's phone real quick. And that's how we are going to eliminate Osana. Basically, all we have to do is we have to put lewd photos on Rival's phone, aka Osana's. And I'm assuming this is the quality of lewd photos that we are going to put on her phone. And I'd like to think that's the case. So we're going on Yugle. And maybe we can put some Markiplier OnlyFans pics on there? And bada bing bada boom, there we go. So I'm actually gonna place this back in her bag. Where's my phone? Did I leave it in the classroom? Wait, someone's watching. I know how to get him out of here. So let's get this, teleport to class, and throw these freaking stinkers at their face! And what? Get out of here. Get out of here, Asana. Boom! Get that ass out of here. You too, Rybrew. Right, oh, boom! Okay, so place the phone. Bam. And there we go. So the aiming thing did come in handy. And I'm just going to throw it at them because I'm a freaking douchebag. Okay, Osana oh, went back to her phone. It was right here the whole time. Yes, it was. All right. So now I am going to be the snitch that I am. And we are going to report that as. The guidance counselor enters your rival's classroom and says that she needs to speak with her. May I see your phone for a moment? What is this? Would you care to explain why something like this is on your phone? What? I've never taken any pictures like that. How did this get on my phone? Um, so I guess that's it, everybody. I mean, that's all I really wanted to check out besides the hypothetical small town that could be in Yandere Simulator in the future. But I actually thought there would be a little bit more depth to the lewd photos thing. Like, I actually thought maybe you can have, like, a selection. I mean, not like an actual selection because nobody wants to see that shit. But I'm just talking about maybe you're like, okay, this type of photo, like, some stupid stuff. Like, make it a funny mini game or something. 
where like you get to choose between some like seriously like stupid photos that you can put on Osana's phone. Like something that'll make you hee hee and ha ha. And something that Yandere Dev definitely needs to put in the game is the matches. Like we need the matches back because if we have the ability to throw things, excuse you, you one-eyed freak. If we had the ability to throw things, we should have the ability to just like aim and throw the match right on the gasoline. That shit would be one of the coolest things ever in this game. So before we check out this new town, I just want to give everybody a reminder of what the old town looked like and god damn i didn't realize that this room sucks so much balls like yanchan's parents must have hated her because look how sad this is no wonder she wants to kill for love because she just doesn't get any so i'm gonna check out this old town right here and i want everybody to remember what this all looked like like remember how she's like hunchback over her bike like it looks like she's in pain riding her bike to school <laughs> and there you go she's not even on the seat anymore and she's like wee she really looks uncomfortable right now like her shoulders are rounded i'm pretty sure she's taking this bike to the nearest chiropractor or maybe even a masseuse to just get her spine elongated but yeah this is what the town looked like like there was a random ass lighthouse with this land just floating above water and you can actually go in the water but then i guess it just teleports you back to the start this is clown school type shit and if you don't believe me that this is clown school type shit just listen to the music and i got stuck we're not going to talk about how I got stuck because literally the wheel isn't even connected to the end of this little column thing. But yeah, this was the quality of the town back then. And it even says longest wheelie like Yandere Dev. Nobody's freaking doing a wheelie in Yandere Simulator. I wouldn't even wish that shit on my worst enemy. But apparently mine is 0.80 meters. So let me see if I can get a longer wheelie score. All right, here we go, everybody. Wheelie time, wheelie time, wheelie, wheelie. Come on, wheel me. How did I get 0.80 meters on a wheelie? I don't even know how the hell I'm doing a wheelie. Like, was that even my score? Or was that somebody previous who did this? All right, I have no idea how I did the wheelie the first time, but fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I don't even know how I got that 0.80 meters. I just wanted everyone to see this old town. I wanted it to be ingrained in your eyeballs, and I'm sorry that I put this on you. But let's transition to the new town. Okay. So this literally just loaded in. What you're all seeing is what I'm seeing for the first time. So let me see what we got over here. I mean, first impressions is that the music sounds good. It doesn't sound like that clown school music we heard in the last town. Um, I can already see half of a mountain, but it's cool. It's cool. This is a hypothetical town. It's not the real deal. But yeah, I don't know where this would come into play. Like, is this on the way to school? Is this something that we can go to after school? Maybe if we skip school? I have no idea, but it looks cool. It looks smooth. I think the music is putting me in the mood because I'm liking this right now. I'm liking the vibe. And maybe like a rival could be in one of the homes. We could set her up. Like we could frame her for something or maybe we can sneak in the window and like plant something. I guess that's the same thing as framing, right? Or maybe we could just eliminate them by going to their home and you know, body bag season or something. But yeah, let me know what you all think about this in the comments. Because I'm excited about, like, the future of this game. I want to see how far this game can go from when we first saw it all the way until the finish line. And if you add something like this into the game, it just adds more layers to something that's outside of school. Like, going into town and buying some supplies or, you know, maybe working here. Yeah, like, we can work here instead of that cafe mini game. Maybe we can, like, put together some sushi and, like, do it in a 3D way instead of a 2D way. Like, that shit would be pretty cool. One thing I will say, though, is that if you're just gonna add something just for the aesthetics of it or just for the sake of there being a town, it's gonna be pointless and nobody's ever gonna go to the town. Kind of like when the old town was in the game, you know, the one where Yandere chans riding her bike around the town. Nobody ever went to that town. Aside from the first time of going to the town because you're like, oh, cool, a town? Let me see what's in the town. And then you realize the town is dog shit and you never go to it again. If this is the town that's gonna be in the game and there's nothing to do here like there's no people existing or there's no rival here that you can eliminate them or maybe gather some information about them or a store where you can get some money for like weapons or i don't know an outfit that you need or just any reason to come to this town nobody's ever gonna come to the town so there's gotta be a good reason to come to the town but yeah let me know what you all thought about this episode in the comment section down below i'm sorry that there wasn't more cool stuff that we can check out but like i said i'm curious to see where this game goes and i genuinely just wanted to check out this latest update if you're looking forward to me playing another update with some more content make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude